What is going on everybody? Hackfair13 here. So I already had a uh, movie vlog video filmed, but I decided to delete the video and make a new one because just there was some stuff that I said and I got some facts wrong about some movies. There was a actor in the movie that I got his name wrong for the entire video and just my facts about the movie after literally finishing the movie and then researching it. I've been doing that a lot lately and uh, yeah, it's just the facts I give were stupid compared to the actual facts that people were coming up with and the theories and everything about the movie. So, I'm just going to reshoot the entire video and yeah, here we go. So, uh, I talked about a bunch of movies that I watched and the first one is Collateral. Now, Collateral was a movie i never seen and um, Collateral, ever since watching it, has become one of my favorite movies. Michael Mann did an incredible job with the movie. It's great. It's directed incredibly well. It captures, like, L.A. Nightlife uh, really, um, really well. Um, Tom Cruise's performance, I think it might be Tom Cruise's, like, most underrated performance. That and another movie I'm going to be talking about. Jamie Foxx was great in the movie, and I just love, like, the last scene where... <laughs> well, one of the last scenes where... Tom Cruise is about to kill the chick that Jamie Foxx likes and he walks in he's like get your hands off her and Tom Cruise is all like what are you gonna do about it and he just shoots him and it's just like oh well that was the end of that but uh even though he didn't die but and I almost just killed myself falling over but <laughs> but uh yeah it was it was uh it was pretty good I really enjoyed it like I said it's become one of my favorite movies since then and um the next one we got is uh well, let me turn this down for a minute. Um, next one we got is The Last Samurai, which is another Tom Cruise movie that um, I watched. And uh, The Last Samurai, oh my god, talk about an incredible movie. I mean, it's directed by Edward Zwick, and it's still, I think that and Collateral are probably the two most underrated Tom Cruise performances because he just gives a visually stunning job. and. The movie is just visually stunning by itself, but Ken Watanabe's performance, I mean, he highly deserved. I think he won an Oscar for that movie. Highly deserved, I mean. Just the action scenes are very, br kind of brutal for a Tom Cruise movie, um, but like epic, really, really epic. And the score for the movie fits really well. Um, but as far as for everything else, I mean, um, sorry, I got a text, but, um, uh, I mean, just the movie's incredible, and there's kind of some brutal stuff because there's some scenes where he cuts off a guy's hand and then he cuts off a guy's head, but you would you see like a glimpse of it. So they they got that. It's a pretty good movie, and I highly recommend it if you guys haven't seen it. Okay, the next one I got is uh, I'm just gonna save the best for last out of everything I watch. So um, we're gonna go with next one being sorry about the fan. We can't really see it, but. It's Young Frankenstein. Now, Young Frankenstein is another Mel Brooks movie. And uh, as far as Mel Brooks, Blazing Saddles is probably my favorite comedy of all time, right next to Clerks 2. And I really like Clerks 2, and I've seen that movie a hundred times, and I laugh every time. But that and Blazing Saddles are probably my two favorite comedies of all time. As far as Young Frankenstein, it's funny. There's some funny things that happen. Um, it's just, it's hilarious. I mean, it's a Mel Brooks movie. I mean, you can't go wrong. It's not better than Blazing Saddles, but it's it is funny, and uh, yeah, there's not really much to say about it except that it's funny. So, yeah, Frankenstein does some funny stuff, and Gene Wilder is hilarious. So, um, yeah. So the next movie we're moving on to, I just watched yesterday with my girlfriend, which was Incredibles 2. Now, um, Incredibles 2, I know you guys didn't even know I picked that up, but like I said, I only do pickups if I get, get a lot of movies. Uh, but next pickup I'll do, I will include it. Um, Incredibles 2, um, I love the first Incredibles. It's probably my favorite Pixar movie slash Disney. Um, it's, it's great. I mean, like I said, it, 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 no, it's not probably, it is my favorite Pixar movie. But, um, Incredibles 2, wow. I mean, I, I didn't just see it until I came out on Blu-ray, and then I watched it, like, a few days after, like, a week after I got it, and it was, it's really good, like, it, it's, I think it's, like, a, I think it's, like, a little bit better than the first one, mainly because of Jack-Jack, because Jack-Jack is, like, funny, and he has some really cool powers, but I just forgot how much I really liked The Incredibles, and 
yeah, it's just, it's awesome. I mean, it's like, it, it's probably my second favorite pick. It's probably my favorite Pixar movie, I'd say. Incredibles 2 and then Incredibles 1. But um, hopefully they make a sequel and it doesn't take years and years to make. I mean, not a sequel, but another one, like a part three. And it doesn't take years and years to make. But uh, come on. I'm trying to get my dog out of the way so I can... What are you doing? Look at this dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. This dog is not functioning today. What are you doing? Uh. Okay. I'm just going to pretend that he went to an internet, uh, inner dimension. And, uh, yeah. So. Okay, now I'm saving, like I said, saving the best for last. Now. You might, guys might be able to see it. Uh, you can't really see it at all. Uh, but that's Inception. Now, Inception is the movie that I complete. You guys saw that. You guys saw that. Went under the bed. <laughs> He's there. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, Inception uh, is the movie that I kept getting everything wrong. I kept mixing up Tom Berenger's name with uh, Killian Murphy. And I kept getting the faces mixed up. And I thought Killian Murphy was Tom Berenger. So thought that was his name but no it's Killian Murphy but Inception and the facts that I was giving out was like completely dog crap to the facts and the theories that I looked up so if you haven't seen Inception it's a Christopher Nolan movie and if you haven't seen it I don't know what you're doing with your life I don't know what I was doing with my life for all the years that I didn't see the movie well I had seen the movie but I never remembered anything about it like back then I wasn't paying attention to movies I would just watch something I would watch whatever my parents were watching but um I had no idea what I was doing in my life. Christopher Nolan's like one of my favorite directors. Memento is one of my all-time favorites. Um, uh, following, not even a lot of people know about that movie. Um, I say that every time about Following. Um, what's uh, the Dark Knight movies? Uh, what else? Um, he has some other movies. I can't remember Christopher Nolan movies right now. Uh, but anyway yeah Christopher Nolan has like a lot of good movies and every movie I've seen by the dude so far is in like incredible and I think Inception might just be my favorite and you know Dark Knight Dark Knight might people a lot of people might say that the Dark Knight is like the best Christopher oh yeah Insomnia is another one Insomnia is a great film um, but a lot of people might say oh well the best Christopher Nolan movies are the Dark Knight movies is because you can't compare Memento to the Dark Knight movies like, you can't compare Insomnia. You know, a lot of people, like, I heard, like, a lot of people say that, like, Insomnia is Christopher Nolan's weakest movie, and it's, like, his, 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 like, he has weakest movie. And it's just, like, you can't compare a crime drama to a superhero movie. You can't compare Memento to a superhero movie. It's just not, you know, you gotta compare Superman. You gotta, com I mean, sorry, not Superman, but you gotta compare the Batman movies to, like, man, like, uh, um, I don't think there's a lot of I don't think there's a lot of people in DC that have more than three movies or like have three even have three movies more than that you can't compare like the Batman movies to Man of Steel you just can't because the Batman movies all together are just way better than Man of Steel well what did I just say <laughs> I'm completely getting confused right now but you can't compare the Batman movies to, like, any Christopher Nolan movie. Like, you guys are probably thinking that I'm retarded right now, and I think I am. You can't compare the Batman movies to Memento, like I said. And you got, like, you got to compare superhero movies to other superhero movies. So, like, yeah. For instance, let me just put it this way. You can't compare the Batman movies to the X-Men movies. There's really no comparison there. Um... Um, but, uh, I'm saying, um, a lot. Uh, uh, <laughs> anyway. But Inception, Inception to me is a film. That is a movie, that is a cinematic masterpiece, Inception is. The, the score for that movie, and I'm not even a really huge fan of movie scores or, like, you know, movie soundtracks, but, oh my god, the soundtrack to Inception, if you guys need to listen to that, it's so epic, it makes you want to go outside and actually do something with your life, um, but Inception, oh my god, now, if a lot of you haven't seen it, like I said, what are you doing with your life, um, the ending, 
if you guys haven't seen it, you probably aren't going to understand anything that's about to be said. But for those of you who have seen it, you are. Is it is is it reality or is it his dream? You know, if we're talking thing stuff as a movie wa as a, a viewer of the movie, it's really hard to figure out because you're going through all these levels of dreams and you're really trying to pinpoint it out. But if you're looking at it from the perspective of Cobb, the uh, main character played by Leonardo DiCaprio. It, does, it didn't matter to him if it was reality or dream or not, you know, he just really wanted to be with his kids. And, you know, the top is still spinning at the very last scene, but it starts wobbling, so maybe. I don't see why it would start wobbling and then keep going, but it cut to black. It probably isn't a dream. A lot of stuff didn't really make sense to me, like how they woke up. You know, when he was going to look for Ken Watanabe, they killed themselves and then they woke up in the car, but they were already dead, and then they woke up in real life. Thing is, how did Joseph Gordon-Levitt and all them wake up? Because it was, you know, the other guy's dream. It just doesn't make sense to me. But if you're looking at the perspective from Leonardo DiCaprio, he just wanted to be with his kids. I think he said, I think I said wife and kids, sorry, his wife died, but he just wanted to be with his kids, so... That's my view. That's my take on Inception. But if you guys haven't seen the movie, some of the greatest action sequences I've ever seen in a movie ever. It's really epic. The CG that's utilized in the movie is fantastic. Um, screenplay, screenplay, God, screenplay is amazing. But um, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all the movies I've watched. Um, go look at my review for Overlord if you guys haven't already. And um. Yeah, I'd say the next Blu-rays I'm probably getting is for Christmas because I asked for a lot of Blu-rays for Christmas, and that's pretty much all I asked for. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, see you guys in the next video. I'm out.